Hi and welcome to my channel. Um, this is not ghost content. Uh, I decided that I wanted to do something uh, makeup related. Uh, uh, so here is my um, makeup as I do it now. Like everyday makeup. Um, since I've done my last everyday makeup I've gotten like face tattoos and I've gotten older and I've got some filler and yeah so I've a lot of a lot of things have changed so let's get into it first thing i'm gonna do is i just washed my face so now i'm gonna add some hydrating serum this is just some cheap hydrating serum i just like to be hydrated before makeup because my skin is really dry nowadays and like always has been but now after like five years uh, since the last video i have gotten like eight spots and everything and it's i don't want any more wrinkles so i want to be hydrated next i'm gonna use some eye cream which is also some uh, cheaper type of moisturizing eye cream um that's also something i just want to do just not to have that much wrinkles i have some wrinkles under my eyes and i have had some um filler in like here which you can see it's kind of brighter but i st still don't like the darkness here and the small lines here but what can you do um i should have some more work done <laughs> there if you don't agree with having work done that's kind of your problem I like to do stuff for myself because I look at myself in the mirror and I don't care what other people think. That's just something I want to do for myself. Then I'll add a face cream that's like, um, that has SPF because it's a daytime and I need some coverage because I, as I said, I have some like, like I kind of like these freckles and everything, but it's also like sun damage in a way. So I want to make my skin look good as long as it can. So next stop is putting on some more <laughs> moisture on my skin. I know it might be like a bit extra, but you don't have to do everything like me, but my skin just loves moisture so i use this uh catrice hyaluronic Bo boost serum vegan and i like it this kind of it's almost like my um primer or not almost it is my primer it gets a bit tacky after it dries so that's why i like it. and i just put it on with my hand like this all over next we are putting on some contour and i do it immediately like after the serum it's a bit tacky now i use this l'oreal true match super blendable foundation in a shade deep golden which is really dark but it's really good for contour i don't need a lot of it i just take a, just a tiny bit and then i use my uh, cosmopharma brush really love this i should wash it <laughs> oh my god and just I just go for it. This is almost like kind of like a drag queen makeup type of contouring that I do. It's a lot. So I understand if some of you are like watching me right now, like what is this clown makeup? But this is just what I like to do. And really quickly. And I like to go kind of far away with my contour um that's also something that not everyone likes but i like it for my face my face it's a bit more manly i've had botox done here so it made my face a bit more rounded than it used to be but um it's still kind of which i like don't get me wrong i like my face to have like strong shapes all right next stop 
next I'm gonna do my foundation or this is actually first I'm gonna be using tinted beauty cream which is from essence I really love this stuff I have like the medium and the light one now I don't have that much fake tan so I'm using the medium one and just no I mean the light one and I'm just adding it all around my face and then I'm just gonna blend it and as you see it gets over my contour so it's not that harsh anymore and I don't like to have like thick foundation all over my face anymore I only like well you'll see in a second how I'm using the foundation next but I really don't like to have like thick foundation everywhere just in certain spots so here we go that is done and next is uh, foundation and this is my favorite foundation at the moment is revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation so it's a full 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 can you see i don't know uh, full coverage moment but i don't use it all over my whole face i just use it in here a little bit and here a little bit and down my nose here just a little bit and here i'm almost at the end of this so i need to buy one new one and then i will just use a dry beauty blender to work it on here we go it's my beautiful foundation face <laughs> and yeah i kind of spread it here on my lids too and to my eyebrows and on my forehead and yeah here we go that's the base <laughs> next powder also kind of want to mention i sometimes use a uh, face primer it's from essence it's the hello good stuff look how dirty it is i shouldn't even be showing it to you this is all coming uh, from my back that i had like bag that i had in helsinki so it's so dirty looking but yeah it's um it's um it's infused with caring hemp seeds and or seed oil and yeah i just like it it's it's hydrating i don't know so to the powder the first powder i'm using is l'oreal true yeah she said that <laughs> true two true two powders uh, l'oreal true much mineral skin improving foundation powder and this is in the shade i have no idea what the shade is it is rose vanilla and as it says it's a bit pink ish it has like rose tint in it and i like it i don't know why but it's just i just like how it looks on my face so i go everywhere with that one and as i said it's like a powder foundation type of a thing and here we go and then i use another powder just to set my eyelids and i use the technic vitamin c translucent finishing powder which is cheap af and probably doesn't have the best ingredients i tried the they had like a primer in this series and i was allergic to it so yeah <laughs> but this is a, an okay powder just to powder my eyelids and my eyebrows so i just take a little bit and powder with my brush uh, this brush is i don't know this is probably something from little i don't know <laughs> so a cheap one all right the powdering is done next eyebrows now what i do with my eyebrows might be a bit different for you but I just take a pencil. This is 
uh, W7 Stroke of Genius. I kind of like these. These are all so cheap. You can find these in normal in here in Finland. And I kind of outline my eyebrow with it, like under here a little bit, like so. And then just little strokes upwards like this looks funny right now doesn't it and then i actually take like there's so many like so proud products and stuff like that but i actually just use a bar of soap and i take my um uh, l'oreal shake and glow illuminator setting spray and just sprinkle it with some of it and then i take my brush and just brush and then go through my brows with the soap and when it's ready i'll just push my eyebrows where i want them to be like this and the other side and now if i am going somewhere special i'm gonna i would go through the eyebrows with some like brown eyeshadow or uh, eyebrow powder but now I don't really need to I'm not going anywhere special just to the shop and to the gym so I'm just gonna use my use <sighs> I'm just gonna leave my eyebrows like so now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and I'm just using white eyeshadow under my brows and now i gotta tell you i don't know what why i said oh this is because it broke and i don't have the container anymore it's just in my uh this ones what do you call them uh, contact lens container i don't know contact comment down below if you know what these are <laughs> and just to brighten a little bit with the white eyeshadow and now a days I either wear just a light brown eyeshadow or like really bright um, oranges or reds so I'm gonna go with red no orange this time and the palette I'm using is essence my power fire zodiac signs I have the Virgo 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 one that's my zodiac sign, but um, there's not enough fire shades for me. So this is for Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So just brush it on. And I just use this wiping motion at first to just get it here. And then just blend, 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 blend. And blend, blend, and I'll blend my eyeshadow. Well, I kind of like it showing like a bit more. Like I, I kind of want this more harsher line here, which is probably not how you do makeup. Even though I'm, a, I, I should know because I've done makeup before. But I mean. It's just personal preference and I like to play with eyeshadow and this is how I like mine so don't judge me. Then I'm gonna take this like, uh, um, it has more like metallic glitter in it so I'm gonna take it with my finger and just drag it on my lid like so. Yes. Yes. Here we go. So that's basically my eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna do my um, eyelashes. Now, my favorite mascara at the moment is Iconista from Catrice High Volume High Care Mascara. Um, I think they are not selling this anymore. I'm not sure, but this is my favorite. And then I also like the Catrice Glam and Doll Lash Colorist. So I usually use both of these. So first I'll curl my lashes a little bit. I had to take a mirror because I couldn't do this with the view finder or whatever you call it when you're using your phone. 
like so. And then the mascara. Yeah. I don't really like big lashes for some reason anymore. I haven't used uh, like fake lashes a lot. I don't know why, because before this I wouldn't even go outside without fake lashes. So times are changing, girl. I don't know. It's for some reason I don't think big lashes look so good with the hairstyle that I'm doing right now. So I don't know. And then the other mascara. And this is, I think, semi um waterproof or something like that it's semi-permanent wow semi-permanent volume don't really know about that one but it is it's okay i like that it's like lengthening a bit as you can see all right here's mascara yes Next, I'm gonna take some L'Oreal Glow. What is it? I bought it. It was in on sale. Glow Cherry. Wow. And it is 24 hour hydration. Really? Wow, wow, wow. It is natural glow enhancer, but I used this yes, over uh, um, powders. Don't judge me. For me, it works. If it doesn't work for you, don't use it. I'm gonna take this amount and then again my dry beauty blender and tap it here. It makes it gives me like a, a natural glow on my cheeks, which I like. Like I used to love these almost like gray, gray, gray um, highlighters. As if you've watched me before, you might remember. <laughs> But now I like it more subtle. And then I'm gonna take some of the... This one you saw if you watched my um, videos from Helsinki. Uh, this is the Circa Playa Paradis, the Paraiso Color Exposure Cheap and Lip Stain. I really like this one, so I'm gonna be using this. Ah! Well, I didn't mean to use it that much, but... Oh well, <laughs> I guess we have a lot of blush today. Oh, I'm just gonna clean it a little bit. Like so, it's so pretty. And as you can see, you can sh still see the glow under it. So it's nice. And just a little bit on my nose, like that. Then I'm gonna be taking some more blush. And I'm using the Essence Matte Touch Blush uh, in the shade Blossom Me, Blossom Me Up. And I really like this. Um, I don't really use a lot of like blushes. I usually use my eyeshadows as blushes. I know, oh, shocking. But this one I like, but it's because it's kind of subtle and it looks like I'm blushing. So just on the cheek on the apples of my cheeks like so I kind of like that look yeah. and then I'm gonna be taking I'm sorry I disappear here because my table is here so <laughs> then I'm gonna be taking some uh, uh, this seems to be like uh, how I do my makeup with essence but I didn't mean it to be like that but uh, apparently I like essence a lot and Catrice so Essence Sun Club Natural Glow Bronzing Powder, and I love this one. It's the, it's, it's warm tone. <laughs> that's the shade. So that's what I'm, and I'm gonna be using, and it smells so good. It kind of smells like the like the physics formula. Is it that one? The ones that are like, like cocoa or coconut smelling so that's how it smells and i take this all over my face not really just here a little bit and on the forehead and on my chin and 
on my ears so that they don't look so white and here just a little bit and the last step is um highlighter and this is interesting how i use it nowadays i have this clean id from catrice would you have guessed it's not essence it's cats it's it's catrice um it has all of these shades it has dandy rose morning blossom and rosy blush and what i do i do take this brush first which is more like a highlighting brush and i take the middle one the morning blossom and just brush it here just to give a bit more glow and then i take like a bigger brush and just mix all the three together and just brush it a little bit everywhere to make my skin glow more yes she is done yes yes so this is how i do my makeup every day well not every day but this is my everyday makeup look then i can add some lip color if i want to now i'm gonna be wearing a mask so i'm not putting on any lip but i would probably put on some brown or orange lipstick because i kind of like the like having monochromatic looks nowadays like if i have orange eyelids it's cool to have orange lips too and orange blush or sometimes like orange uh, blush orange eyeshadow and then brown lips but anyways like this video if you'd like to see more um makeup tutorials from me this was an like really really fast one just gonna go to a shop and everything like that so yeah like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see content like this or if you want to see ghost content or if you like me <laughs> and yeah i'll see you later guys bye